Welcome to my channel. I am so glad you're here. Today I have something exciting. I am showing you guys a brand new cabinet that I bought for my breakfast nook area. I'm going to be styling it and I'm going to take you along step by step as I do that. I'm also going to rearrange my table and dish rack. So all of that is coming up next. So stay tuned. I have been looking for quite a few months for a cabinet and found it. It had to be a certain size, a certain color, and I wanted it to fit perfectly in this area. And now the fun part begins. Before I decorate, I want to show you what it looked like before. I will link up above the full tour of my home. This is the little cabinet that was here before. I will show you at the end of the video where I put some of these things. Adding this new cabinet brightens up the area, don't you think? I love the details like here at the top and the beadboard in the back. I gave this cabinet a fresh coat of paint and I took some sandpaper and I gave it a rustic worn look. I wanted to make it look old and that it's been around for a while. The paint color that I chose is Old White by Annie Sloan. It's the same color that I painted the chairs and the table. This area looks so bright and cheery and I love it so much. But now I get to show you all of the things I'm going to add. I am putting some beautiful flow blue dishes on this cabinet. It will hold my tea, my beautiful teapot here. I have this big tin of Earl Grey and bag of peach tea. I'm going to put them inside of these jars and I will show you how I style that. And I'm taking some of the decor pieces that I've used before like these finials. It will add the texture that I love and I have these cute little tins of tea and we'll see if I put that little hen back there on the cabinet. This wooden box is filled with bags of tea and I'm going to incorporate this cute little sugar bowl and creamer and this little oil lamp is so cute. I found this at Goodwill for $5.99. Look at the details. Oh my goodness. I will be placing this at the top of the cabinet. But first I'm going to quickly add this tin of tea into this jar. I think this is going to last me a while. I'm taking this Curia and Ives teacup and putting it inside. I repeat this again for the peach tea. I will make sure to list all the teas down below. This is the peach hibiscus herbal tea. It tastes so good. I learned you don't have to let this one steep very long. And now my favorite addition. It's my coffee beans. Freshly ground coffee tastes so good. Now I'm going to take you through the process of decorating my cabinet. I put the wooden drawers of tea in the middle. I have these battery run tea candles and it's perfect because they have that pretty little glow. To design this, I am doing the zigzag method and put one jar on each shelf. I'm doing the same thing with these finials. Put one on top on one side and the other one on the other side. I chose this teapot to be the central showpiece I use these coffee mugs every day and so I'm putting them here for convenience. I thought I would want this tea canister up top, but I decided not to put it there. Put a coffee pot and a teapot up above. The idea is to put flow blue dishes on each shelf. I add my favorite teacup and saucer. There is room at the top. I put a crock with some rolling pins and these cute little creamer and sugar bowls and that oil lamp. Now I have to make room for my tea. I thought it would fit there, but it doesn't, so I'm just leaving them in the front. This Falls Graph teacup and saucer is another one of my favorites. I will be showing you all these details up close in a little bit. And now I move to my dish rack. I put a gorgeous ladder on top. It has the green, so perfect for spring. I add a gorgeous table runner that I freshly washed and ironed. 
I put back the things I already had there. I love the combination of the blues and the greens. I add this blue teacup for a whimsical look. And now I want to show you what this looks like up close. That's the butterfly and the flowers. And check out this cake stand. It is like having jewelry right here on my table. It glistens and shines. Isn't it beautiful? And yes, I found that for $19.99 from Goodwill. I have a little collection of this flow blue china. I wanted to show you it up close. It's a Victorian lady with her bow. And this lantern was $7.99 from Goodwill. I put another tea candle inside. I love the rustic look. And on this shelf, I put two little doorknobs that I found at a junk store. I love adding unexpected things like this to my shelves. These black frames were found at Michael's and I put postcards inside. The black and white photos of old homes was perfect. And here is that green and white platter up close. And this little green tin with the little birds is a perfect addition for spring. And I want to show you my favorite ironstone pitcher. It's the most expensive one I have. I will link the antique store where I found it up above. This was the first real ironstone pitcher that I ever owned and I love it so much. The green in the leaves of those flowers and the green of the platter are a great combination together. This flow blue teacup has that Victorian lady on one side and a castle on the other and I want that one to show and so I hang it opposite of the other ones. And now I get to show you up close what I put on these shelves. This is my favorite flow blue pattern and along with that I put my most beautiful teapot here I mean, look at the details. I love the gold accents. I think it looks perfect here with my very favorite teacup and saucer. Is that beautiful or what? You can also add Epsom salt to these jars and put a tea cup inside to scoop out that for a nice bath. I have one of those in my bathroom. I love that look. Here is a fancy container of cream of Earl Grey. Here are some Harney and Sons chocolate mint tea and some Paris tea. Those are really good. I got these tea strainers from Amazon and I'll link these down below. I forgot to mention that I found this cabinet for $75 from Facebook Marketplace. I know, I am still pinching myself. And now I'm going to show you where I put some of the things that was there before. The little hand didn't find a place there on my cabinet, so I put her here, nice and snug inside of this basket. And my KitchenAid ended up here on my counter. It is so heavy, so it's perfect here for when I make sourdough bread. And that castle print that was on top ended up here in my dining room. I love that it has the gray like my curtains. I found this at an antique store for $20 many years ago. I've always thought it was so regal and so beautiful. And that frame is just gorgeous. My hope is to always inspire you when I show you my home and all of these new finds that I find from thrift stores and antique stores that it is possible to create a beautiful home while on a budget, adding things here and there over time, I have loved this journey of doing DIYs and transforming my home little by little. 
creating a cozy and beautiful home that I always wanted with the Victorian farmhouse look and all the details that I love so much. It's been a process and I enjoy taking you along with me. And if you want to see more, I would love for you to subscribe right down below. Thank you for watching everyone. That was so much fun showing you how I restyled that breakfast neck area. I will be sharing with you another refresh in my bedroom where I have a vanity and you are going to love it. Here's a little peek of what it looks like. Isn't that pretty? I'm so excited to add things to that and make it really cute. And so I'm going to show you guys that in the next video. So you guys have a great week and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.